today's subject, I thought I'd cover something that I've come across with a few business owners of late, and that is their domain name, whether they actually own their domain name. You, you'd think you would, right? But two clients quite recently, their uh, Webby that they engaged about a year ago, registered it in his business name. It's like, I don't know why you do that. To me, it's just a well, wrong thing to do. But more recently, there was another client who had, has had his domain name for 18 years. So thriving business, local business, doing really well. Now, the problem in that particular instance was his domain name was a .com domain name. So the Webby he engaged 18 years ago registered it in his actual own name. Now, the guy's an old codger. He's actually getting quite old and decrepit. Now, the danger there is that because the email notification for renewal is in his name, if he dies, nobody gets the renewal notification for the domain name. The domain then becomes unregistered and you'd think the proper business owner would be able to register it. But the trouble is with dot com uh, domains, it's an open slather market. So if that becomes unregistered, one of the domain squatters will grab that domain name and buy it and hold the original business owner to ransom, basically. Um, so it's something that you've got to be really, really careful with. So now this is my first live webinar, so I'm not quite sure how it's streaming and everything else. I'm actually streaming this uh, using Zoom webinar through to Facebook Live. So I'm actually not able to see the stream. So but what I want to be able to do is share some web links to um, show people where they can actually go to... I'm just going to share this uh, live now. So I'm going to share this on my screen. <coughs> So you should be able to see my screen. So if I go to one of these domain uh, registrars, so this particular one is whois.com forward slash whois, and you can basically put your domain name in there. I'll just grab mine. You enter it in and hit search, and it will give you all of the details to who that's registered to. So the registered contact is me. Uh, that's the partnership name of uh, Linda and myself, and the technical contact is me. So this is the sort of information that you really need to know. Now, in this particular platform, um, it doesn't actually show other details. So I'll use two platforms because it gives a cross uh, range of information. So I'll just open the other one up now, which is Oz Registry. So that's work, 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 dot A-U-S-R-E-G istry.com.au forward slash who is put your domain name in here now you've got to take out the forward slash at the end and the work 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 you just want the domain name put in the code okay eight and you'll see the information that this gives shows you the tech contact email, so the person that's on us, the technical person, but more importantly, the registrant contact email. So if this information is not your name, that's a really scary thing. And look, if you need a, a hand with sorting this out, just give us a shout out, more than willing to help. We've helped literally dozens and dozens of people where we come to actually build their website and all of a sudden they find out, oh, I can't access my domain name. And then it's like, oh, well, it's actually not even registered to me. And the reason I thought I'd do this now is just timely. Two clients recently, as I said earlier, one client for 18 years, he's had his domain name, thought it was in his name, you know, really vulnerable position to be in. Um, not only that, because his was a .com, we then found out and advised the client to actually secure the .com.au uh, domain name. He'd never owned that. And... Uh, the .com.au, the OWDA, um, Australian Domains Association, have really good controls in Australia. If somebody buys your business name as a .com.au and squats on it, you can actually take them to court and you will win uh, because when you register domain names, 
there's a uh, checkbox which is uh, closely re related to uh, the business name. So, you know, you just can't go buying domain names randomly. Well, you can buy them, but people can challenge you on it. So we've got a lot of good regulations, which is uh, really encouraging. But if you've got a .com, a, a .com only and it's not in your name, you are actually quite vulnerable. Anyway, so I thought I would cover that topic. So bigger picture, I plan on doing uh, business tips at 10 every Saturday morning. I'll cover topical subjects, not always related to internet and uh, websites. You know, we cover a lot of subjects, email marketing, SEO, uh, but direct mail marketing, there's a lot of different subjects that we cover uh, because we've been helping business owners for 11 years, uh, you know, we, we become almost business coaches. So I've set up a uh, business group on uh, Facebook. I will just go to that now. So uh, Smarter Business Mastermind. So have a look at that. It's an open group. Now I'll be posting this video and uh, a lot of other business tips along the way um, that, you know, basically helps business owners to get a handle on uh, websites and online marketing. Look, there's so much to learn, but so much of it is so simple. And it's just a matter of having a heads up on, on how to move forward yourself. My whole um, you know, platform is the more value that I can add to business owners, you know, the more value I'm going to get. And I just love helping people. So I really hope that this uh, webinar helps you, makes a difference. Do go to those uh, two links. Um, well, not that one, uh, that one and that one, and just double, do a double check. Now, the other thing is on my website, which I don't have up in this particular window, going to it now because I'm running through a webinar program. It's loading a little bit slowly. On my website, Smarter Websites, you can navigate down the page and the webinar platform is slowing it down, down the page, and there is a free resource down here, your domain name, get instant access. So there's a whole host of information in uh, that resource, your domain name. So uh, I've had that written for quite a number of years and never officially released it. So, um, yeah, so look, do jump onto smarterwebsites.com.au, download this, have a read through it. You'll be amazed at uh, the information that's available. So we hope that helps and we look forward to being on another webinar with you and I will sign off with my little tagline, go work smarter.